Alright, welcome back guys. Uh, I think tutorial, today's tutorial is health pickups, red lumps, and damage sources. So let's get right into this one. This is probably going to be a real short tutorial. So, one thing we can do right now is we can actually go to the folder the user in which would be collectibles we're gonna make a folder called health and we can just right click the master on this and do duplicate drop it into health and let's just open this up And I don't know. That's lucky that there's a red material. I didn't make any of these. Just, uh, Unreal Engine content. Basic asset zero one. Now what we can do is on pickup. Right, we can just go to here. Set of add score. We can actually one before we do that because we can't yet and go to interfaces collectible interaction and we need to add add health and we can add an input called amount integer and now on this we can just do add health Make sure it has this little envelope here. That means it's a message. And we can just go ahead and plug them out into here. And we can close out both of those. Uh, go back to your collectibles folder, health. And we can rename this to BP Health Pickup. Now, Oops. Uh, now we can place some of these around here. You'll notice that they uh they won't work right now. That's because we have yet to implement the um health uh, collection inside of the player controller. So let's go to the player controller real quick and you have your add health, take health, upgrade health. So what we want to do is uh, one, uh, you can go ahead and get rid of dupes. You can go ahead and get rid of all these. I don't need them. Uh, now you can go over here or if you don't want to click on that every time, there's right here event add health and all you gotta do is you have another event add health all you gotta do is just okay that's problem Let's go back into our interface. And for the sake of these, let's put F and C in front of them. This should update across all blueprints that have it implemented. That just allows us to have stuff like this still named the same. Uh. Oh yeah, what the heck? We need to go back here. I, I, I don't know why that passed over my mind. Don't have this as an integer, make it a float. Which you also need a change in your collectible. Or not, if you don't want to. Doesn't really matter. You will need to go in here though. 
because of that. Now if we go and collect these, your health goes up. Alright guys, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> Unreal Engine crashed and I actually had to re-record this part after thinking I was recording it before, but apparently uh, the recording software just wasn't recording, so we're going to have to go over this part again. Uh, I think where we ended off on the first section of the video before the engine crashed was the lums. Those should be working fine. What we made in the second part was this. We're going to quickly go over this. So, one thing we need to do for this damage source is, one, I made a folder for debug and I, you know, made a simple actor. And here's what the actor looks like. It's just a cube, 50 units up, with a sphere attached directly to the sphere. Collision attached directly to the center of it with a radius of 100. And we're on begin and overlap, on component begin overlap, and we have this. But the first thing we need to go over quickly, it's not a long thing, is this. We need a interface we need a blueprint interface right here all this is is a function called function take damage with two inputs one of its inputs is a damage type which you can just start typing in here damage type make sure it's object reference and you need a flow amount there that's all you need for that and where I put the damage type was actually in a folder called damage types. I just went into blueprint, blueprint, blueprint class. And if you type damage type, you get it right there. Just do that. Call it BB damage type. You don't need to mess with anything in here. Uh, the only reason we have that is one, this. If you have none set, I don't think it actually applies to damage. And we don't really want to use the others. We could, but it's good to use custom damage type because you can do a uh, check inside of your pawn and whatnot, and you know do some extra cool stuff for what type of damage sources it is, like set the player on fire or play certain sounds, etc. So for this, we already have this set up, or you should. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna implement that interface that we had here all you do for that is yes all you do for that right is here there's a little add thing you type BPI which is what I named it BPI damage and boom you got that right I'm going to need to delete this because that transfers on to its own type of thing. <clears throat> okay, you want to implement that. And inside pawn, you want to go ahead and make a event any damage, which is just fine by event any damage. Uh, you want to get the controller that is controlling this pawn. You want to send the message, take damage to it. And you want to plug damage into a mount, damage type into damage type, and you're done with that part. If you want to add knockback to your player, uh, this is how you set it up. We have our jump event that we made on the first tutorial. All I did for this was get actor forward vector, multiplied it by negative 3000, float. If you're in Unreal Engine 5, this will be a vector by default. You can go down to here, convert pin, and you can convert it to... Uh, whatever you want float is the best for this kind of stuff and then break vector and plug x and y into launch velocity x launch velocity y and you'll get launch <coughs> and in launch velocity z you want to put whatever you want in there i put 300 that's just to make his knockback 
also knock him upward as well as backwards. Now for the cube damage, we have on component begin overlap, and we I call it do once. So I have a custom event here called reset damage. Now we do our branch check where we get the class of other actor. We make sure it equals Rayman Pawn. We make sure it equals this. And if it does, we go grab other actor out and we call apply damage on it. This is where you set your stuff at base damage. I put it to 10, damage type class. You'll want to select BP debug damage. And for this part, this is our reset on the damage. I just call the delay of one second and call reset damage after that. Now, once you have all that set up, this is how the damage will work. You hit into that and you take knockback. This is where you normally do, um, why is the cube not hurting? anymore what? Um, here. this is normally where you would also do some kind of uh, camera shake damage sounds and whatnot like that we won't go over that ourselves <clears throat> but next video we'll be going over uh, respawning death and respawning as well as falling off of like edges like this and into like an abyss uh, well we may or may not do this but uh, falling into an abyss you'll be uh, we if you guys want it we can make it to where he respawns at the edge he was at before he fell down some game some platformers had this for stuff like water and whatnot and it'll like take a little bit of your health but that's it if you guys don't want that I, I'll still do it for the people who do um, that might be its own video though but uh, that is what our next video will be uh, anyway, see you guys. That's it for this video.